so today we are creating space in Vader's game. So whenever I press space, then one second, reload. So I can just move it. When I press enter, then the game, the enemy is out. And the score increases. This is the kind of game which we are creating. So let's start creating. Go to folder the magic. Create a new game or project. Next, what we are doing is adding sprites. So first we are adding a sprite of a space shooter game. You can add any, like you can add this red one. Then you have to add a shot. So for the shot, you can go to game blocks. And you can choose. Any of these, you can choose this one. I'm choosing this one. So, next, you have to choose an enemy. So, you can just search here for alien, and you can just choose for. This one, this one, this one, and just delete the second frame. Now go to code sprites, so variable sprites, so variable sprites like in this, in this space, middle pillar. I have, I have just moved it. It is fine. So variable. Shooter space variable plane you can get this now we will just set animation plane dot set animation is equal to person show block clear shape right now variable short It will be short dot set animation. Next, one more that will be enemy. So, enemy dot set animation. Wait, I think wrong. Here it should be. Okay, now let's run. We are not able to see because we have to first do plot price. Now run. It's fine. Now let's give a good background. So let's add a good background. You have to add the background of the space. So you can add this background. Go to code. So then one more variable that is background. So bg dot set animation space run sign. But this has covered all. We will do it in the first. Now run. Now we are able to see. Next we are going to now we are going to. Just scale. We we have already learned the meaning of scale in the basics of game lab video. So we are doing that. Short dot scale is equal to zero point two. Let's run. And Let's do the size of the plane somewhat here. So 
वन एटी थ्री ट्वेंटी वन एटी थ्री ट्वेंटी नाउ लेट्स लर्न नाउ इट्स फाइन नाउ इट्स फिर नाउ द एनिमल विल पुट इट समवेयर टू ट्वेंटी एंड फोर्टी एट टू ट्वेंटी Now you get it right. Fine. You can just make it little more down by sixty, or down to maybe eighty. Fine. Now just give it short. It's so big. Uh, still zero point zero five. Now it's fine. But I don't want the users to see the shot, so I will just throw it out of the gate. That is five hundred. Now it is thrown out of the gate. So we can just this main position little more down. So I will just change its y coordinate to three forty. You can do more down three fifty. Now it's fine. Now I want that when user press left or right, then this plane is able to move. So for that, I'm adding an if statement that if t down is equal to actually left, then the sprite dot x that is plane dot x is equal to Plane dot x minus five. Let's run. So left, yes, it's moving now. For right, also we will do. So one more statement. And if p down is equal to right, then plane dot y. Sorry, plane dot x is equal to. Plane dot x plus five. That's that. So now let me reload the app. So if so the sequence is placed then, then actually what will happen is the value of the shot that this shot would be equal to plane dot x the position where plane dot x is standing plus its velocity would be so it's actually not velocity x but it's Velocity y because it's moving upwards direction. So short dot velocity y would be equal to minus h. Now let's run. So when I press space, see it's just moving. When I press space, but wait. So if we don't space is do there. It is having a bug. If I rerun, so we can see that it's not exactly there. It's just its y position is there. I don't know where. Then what we will do is, so what we are doing is, it's short dot y is also equal to plain dot x y. Let's reset and run. Now it's fine. Now it's easy. But when we see is what we are able to see is see when I am just doing it the shot is actually going from it between of the but I want to it go from the front of the plane so for that I am going to go to show text so I will do plane dot y 
minus 40. Now if I run and if I press space, now it's just going from it above, like to front, right? So I'm going to show block. Next, what we are doing is suppose if statement one more if statement that if the shot is touching if the shot is touching the enemy then what's going to happen if the shot is touching the enemy then it's going to just change the enemy will have to change its x position its x position is going to the enemy's x position is going to be a random number it's going to be a random number because then it will appear anywhere randomly it is going to be a random number between 1 2 between 1 2 3 70 it's very reset and run and if suppose it any touches then we can see that it's moving it's random number c but 1 is 2 so let's do 5 reset and run now let's just do c it's just moving right so now let's add the feature of score in our game let's add a feature of score so what to add the score we have already added score in some of the games which we made previously so let's now just work on that so we are creating one more variable that is score and that's pretty simple so variable score is equal to zero then suppose if short is touching then if short is touching enemy then the score will increase by one point right score will increase now but if i run it is not going to happen because we have to implement it in our game too so we are creating a text that is score We will do it after draw sprite. So variable score because the sprites would cover the text and text would not be shown. So we will do it after the text. So variable score and let's give the position somewhat here. One and twenty. 20 and 1. If I run it, I'm not even able to see that. So, what we can do is fill it with white color. Then we can give the text font as 20. Text size as 25 if I run. See it's so above, so we will just give it as 8. Still, so let's give it 20. Now it's time, we can give it more 25. Yes, now it's fine. So next we will do that score if so score is equal to plus the variable after this this after this string we are going to add plus score. Now if I run you can see score is equal to zero because of course score is zero. Then if I just hit it the enemy the score is increasing. So our space invaders game is all ready. And it's ready to be shared with your friends. And this game is ready to be converted to an APK file. Or it is ready now to be converted into a Android app. So you can watch my video in YouTube. There is one video which I have only posted in my channel. You can look for how to convert code.org projects to APK file. And from by that video you can convert your this game to your Android app. And then you can share that android app with your friends 
by saying, see, I have created the first game. Also, you can share it the link of this game, but I would prefer you to convert it to an Android app and you share it with your friends. So that your friends would also have an impression that, oh, my friend has created an Android game. That's pretty cool. So, you can do that or simply just share the link with your friends.